guys before? Because it must have been weird for Yeah, it was, uh, it was a long day. I mean, you know, you usually go back, have your quick nap, and you're off to the rink. Um, but, uh, you know, I had a nap, woke up, and uh, sat around the hotel a little bit because I did a good skate in the morning. And, uh, just kind of waited till game time, and uh, like I said, it was just a, a different feeling, you know, a different nervousness. Uh, uh, and uh, you know, I'm glad uh, glad the guys did a great job. Uh, you know, it's 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 tough when uh, you know you can't uh, can't help your team out, and uh, you know you know you have nothing nothing to do for for an outcome. So it was uh, it was weird, but uh, it was good. Yeah. Um, uh, you know, coming back home, it's uh, take one, take one, uh, one game, uh, you know, out of hand, and uh, you know, one shift at a time. So uh, we got to keep uh, keep going here and stay uh, stay on the gas and uh, keep being physical and keep shooting the puck. Yeah, when we got up, a, I think four goals, and I was uh, I was okay, but uh, it was. Uh, it was a different nervousness up in the up in the press box watching, and uh, you know it's not a feeling that you like to have. But uh, you know there was a, a good confidence in this room, and uh, you know we were, our backs were against the wall, and uh, you know we knew what we had to do. Sydney, can you put your finger on why all of a sudden these two teams have gone 1980s? I mean, all offense. Yeah, it seems like no defense. It's just like yeah. I have no clue. I think. Uh, there's no really good explanation. Um, there's a lot of skill and depth on both teams, and um, there's no real explanation. I don't think anyone can explain it. And neither do you, can we. Do you think your coaches so you like have an stuff? issue with that? Like, do you think? I mean, obviously, I'm, I'm sure coaches all talk about yeah. how defense wins championships. If you keep on going blow for blow, at some point, you kind of wonder where this is going to go. Well, yeah, I think the more you trade chances like that, the more you make it a 50-50 game, and anything can happen. And um, when you're doing the right things and giving yourself a chance to win, uh, you don't allow that one chance to change change a game. Whereas uh, if you're going back and forth like that, it's almost like last goal wins, kind of thing and see who uh, see who gets it. So um, I think it's just a matter of playing the right way and give yourself the, the best odds by by doing that. Uh, he did get tested. I thought we did a good job of sticking with things and with the score, but he uh, he made some big saves. And um, there are going to be times where they get good chances they're a good team so uh, to see him have a couple of big saves like that's good I'm sure it felt good and uh, ultimately to get the win so um, you know there was a good feeling for him there. Do you feel like there have been more overall quality scoring chances in the series or is it just that these teams are burying them at a really high rate? Uh, I would say that I, mean, I would say that they're they're burying them everyone's taking advantage of their chances for sure I don't think we're really thinking about that I mean that's we were happy with our game, and even if we didn't score 10 goals, we played the right way and gave ourselves a chance. So, like I said, we could play the exact same way tomorrow night. It doesn't mean we're going to score 10 goals. We know that. So, um, you know, we're just focused on playing the right way. Eight will probably do it. Yeah, <laughs> however many we can. First eight wins, yeah. So, does stuff, that, so stuff happening here that just sort of defies explanation to have four games like this? Yeah. You want to have one. Yeah, yeah. I think that's all kind of crossed our mind and probably a lot of other people's too. It's like you said, you see that happen once and you kind of think, oh, that's kind of a weird game. And then see that many uh, in four games, it's uh, it's surprising, but um, got to find ways to adjust and, and find ways to win. Ultimately, that's what it's about. So you mentioned you guys found your game. Did that become apparent to you as it was going on or does the scoreboard tell you that? No, I think, uh, like I said, you don't need 10 goals to, to feel like you played your game. And, um, and Was there a point last night where after the chaos kind of settled down where you felt, all right, this is what it's supposed to look like? And well, no, I think you got to put a full game together to see that, and I think we did that. You know, No matter what the score was, we, we did that. So whether we had a lead or whether we would have been down, we, we stuck with things and played the right way. Um, yeah, that's. I think that's just a... I guess as far as the whole game itself and looking back at it. What were you guys doing at the defensive in the last two periods yesterday that you really hadn't been doing since the first half of game one? Uh, well, it's, it's hard to say. I think we were simplifying things. You know, we weren't uh, taking any chances and just kept things simple. Um, you know, there's so many things, so many 
systems and things like that. The teams know so much about each other, but at the end of the day, it usually comes down to execution and mistakes, and that never changes. So I think just managing the puck and you know not taking any chances was a big thing for us. Are you curious to see what the series is the craziness you've seen so far for these four games? Don't you think you've seen it all? Yeah, I think. I think after each game, everyone kind of thinks, okay, I'm sure the next game will kind of settle into a normal, you know, normal playoff score or whatever. But um, you know, you never know. You never know. It's a playoffs. Anything can happen. Even in junior, have you ever been in, in a series or anything like that? Off the road. Not that I remember. You know, it's been. Uh, you know, it's been pretty surprising with the amount of goals that have been scored. And like I said, usually in the playoffs you see it much tighter. You know, you see much tighter hockey. And uh, there's no doubt it's been it's been physical and intense and all those things you expect in the playoffs, just with a lot more goals. I enjoyed it. Uh, Try to keep it simple, and uh, the guys <laughs> played very well, so it made it easy. And uh, it was a good game for us. Overwhelmed at all by the atmosphere, a uh, playoff game like that, backs up against the wall. Yeah, for sure, I was a bit overwhelmed, but it gets me pumped up for the game. I like that atmosphere. It's awesome to play in that kind of uh, environment. When did you know you were going to play, and what was your reaction to that? Uh, I, the day before <laughs> the game, uh, in the afternoon, uh, my uh, American Hockey League, John Hines, uh, coach, uh, called me and said I was coming up to Philly, so I was pretty excited for sure. Do you ever think that you'd be in a playoff series where you've seen eight goals, eight goals, and the game you play in ten goals scored by you guys? I mean, this is a playoff hockey, is it? I mean, uh, you don't see that every day, but uh, that's how it is this series, and uh, hopefully we're on the good side of it. Is it hard to figure out why there are so many goals being scored? I mean, all the other series that I watch and you see, they're two to one, one to nothing, overtime. You guys are just going crazy. I mean, we got a lot of the top end talent on uh, each side on the forward, so for sure it's going to be a lot of goals. But uh, maybe we got to tighten up defensively. Is it tough to think one game at a time at, at this juncture? It's the, it's the age old cliche everybody says. How hard is that to, to really put into action? That's not that hard. I mean, you just got to focus on the first game, first five minutes, first period. You, you don't try to think too, too far ahead. And uh, in hockey, anything can happen. And uh, with this group, I think uh, anything can happen. And uh, I believe in our chances. How much did those 10 goals and the way you played last night in their building you know, boost you and, and get you ready for what you're going to see tomorrow? Uh, for me personally, it gave me a little confidence. Uh, it told me I could play at this level. But uh, for the team, I mean, uh, it was a good confidence booth, and uh, it's good for the team.